Today, a highly distinctive form of folk singing is facing the challenge over its inheritance and protection system. The neatly seated Dong ethnic houses, scattered drum towers, and women dyeing cloth by the wind rain bridges form a harmonious picture composed by the mountains, rivers, and people in the ethnic village. The drum tower serves as a venue for social gathering, entertainment, and important events for the Dong ethnic group. It's also a landmark building where the Dong people practice the grand song and welcome guests from afar. The grand song of the Dong ethnic group, with their unique singing style and organizational structure, carry the history and culture of the Dong people. They are an integral part of the Dong social structure, marriage customs, and spiritual life. On a summer afternoon, students and teachers from the Central Conservatory of Music gather at the drum tower, along with elderly individuals dressed in traditional Dong attire to discuss this art form. Inside the drum tower, there's also a Belgian couple who, thanks to the recently implemented visa-free policy, were visiting China. Little did they know that this trip would bring them unexpected gains. The grand song at the drum tower is usually performed via sectional choir singing, combining solo and group singing. Singers are required to collaborate without a conductor. This telepathy between top singers often only requires eye contact or a smile. The ever-changing rhythms and captivating melodies of the songs are captivating even to those who do not understand the Dong language. The Xiaohuang village's Dong Grand Song has developed as an independent system since the Qing Dynasty and has been passed down by singing masters to the surrounding areas, greatly enriching the repertoire of Dong Grand Song. It is not an exaggeration to say that almost everyone in Xiao Huang village can sing. The simple wisdom of food nourishes the body while singing nourishes the soul expresses the Dong people's understanding of nature, life, and society. It also strengthens their connection and sense of identity with each other. <laughs> After the grand song performance ends, its melodies can still linger for a while. However, the singers often return to their normal lives and embrace the hustle and bustle of the city. In recent years, with the absence of young people due to migration for work, the inheritance of the Dong ethnic group's grand song has been passed on to primary school students. However, this situation still leaves Grandma Pan worried. <laughs> After bidding farewell to the teachers and students, Grandma Pan, wearing a pair of rubber-soled shoes, walked to the entrance of the primary school. She climbed several dozen steps and, without taking a break, went straight into the classroom to start her lesson. The children may not realize it, but the elderly person in front of them is a living textbook of this national level intangible cultural heritage.
with a history of over 70 years, Xiaohuang Elementary School has a dedicated Dong ethnic music class. However, it only teaches basic children's songs. After graduating, the children will go to schools in the county, which is dozens of kilometers away, and they will no longer continue their music education. This situation has left this art form in a predicament with no successors. Pan Sain Hua, from a young age, has been studying the traditional Dong Grand Song. She has taught over a thousand students about the folk art. Now in her old age, Grandma Pan's legs have been giving her trouble. In her free time, she makes paper at home to earn some money. The paper she makes can last for decades without deterioration. Grandma Pan, who could not use computers, can only record songs on her mobile phone. However, the scenes in her favorite love songs, which are about Dong ethnic young men and women engaging in affectionate duets under the drum tower, have vanished. It is heartening to note that the local cultural and tourism department has brought the art to the weekend performance activity in rural areas, where different ethnic groups take turns to showcase their folk performances. <laughs> Thank you.